Hello, in this lesson we're going to look at the do-while loop and the while loop. Uh, our learning outcomes, again for this lesson, will be how to write the loop correctly or using the correct syntax to write the loop. And secondly, actually what uh, the differences between the while and the do-while loop. Now, the bottom line is, uh, with uh, loops are used a hell of a lot, uh, not just in C Sharp, but in every language. Again, it keeps you in a certain area or a, cer a certain way of doing something while a condition is met. Let's look at the syntax uh, first. As you can see here, I have I've written a while loop, and you can see there, while a condition is being met, we're going to execute whatever is in between the braces. So you can see the syntax there is while, a set of parentheses, an opening brace and a closing brace. Okay, so while the condition is met, this code will be executed. Uh, we have also uh, a do while loop, and that's written this way. So do this code while a condition is being met. Now there is a subtle difference uh, between the two. Uh, the while and the do while. Again, the, the while, uh, the condition has to be met before the code will execute. Whereas with the do loop, it will do or execute the code at least once before it comes down to the while that condition is being met. So let's go over to the code now and see how this will work in practice. So here we are in the code. Uh, you can see here I've created a new um, a new app uh, console application called WhileLoopyX. And I'm going to start off by declaring an int, uh, int i, and I'm going to set this uh, to zero. I don't have to set it to really anything, uh, but again, uh, I'll set it to zero. And I'm going to do the construct for a while loop. I'll start off with a while. So again, uh, while. You can see there the key coming up. My my IntelliText is coming up. A set of parentheses, an opening brace, and a closing brace. Uh, so let's uh, look at this. Bring that up a bit so a bit clearer. Okay. So what I'm going to start off with here is while a condition is being met. Okay. So let's uh, say well what condition. So we're going to say for as long as i is less than twenty. Um, there. So as long as i is less than 20, we want to do something. So what do we do? We'll just write out to the console. Um, uh, so we'll write out... Uh, um, we'll just write out each uh, loop number as it, as it comes up. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, uh, write uh, uh, loop number and again, we'll use a um, uh, string format here. Okay. And I. Okay, so again, what will happen here, uh, the, you can see there, while I is less than 20, uh, it's going to do this. Now, if I were to execute this code as it is, um, it would, I just end up in an infinite loop because I will always be less than 20. I'm going to have to use some kind of increment. Uh, so I will actually increment up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, before it stops at 20. So just uh, to create the error, let's just have a look at the the uh, uh, the uh, infinite loop uh, as it would run. Okay, um, just I'll build that now. And you can see there it's just continually looping. I don't know if that's coming out correctly on the screen, but it's just kind of... Because I will, being set to zero, it will always be less than 20. Okay, so what I want to do now is increment that up by one. So I'll just do I++. plus plus. Okay, uh, again, we would have done that before. Uh, so that means every time, uh, you know, this condition is going to go through, it's going to, uh, I at uh, this stage is zero. Again, it stays inside the loop because I, while well, this condition is met, then it executes the code again, increments by one, I is now two, and continually all the way up till it hits 19, because 19 is less than 20. So let's execute this bit of code. And see that running, and you can see there loop number zero, one, two, three, four, all the way up to 19. Okay, that's exactly what we we're expecting to happen. Uh, 
again uh, the, there is another way we get uh, we can do it uh, let's say for as long as i is more than 20 uh, what i want to do here is create the error uh, uh, int i is set to zero so therefore i uh, while i is greater than 20 so therefore this loop isn't going to run because i is zero it's not greater than 20 so therefore none of this code will execute and we should see a blank screen uh, which is exactly what we're getting here okay uh, what i want to i'll just set that back to less than uh, let's just have a quick look at the do while loop and the difference between each um, uh, so again as i said there the the point to note with this is that uh, the condition must be met before this code executes so i'm just going to comment this uh, here and i'll comment it here okay and let's do the same one more or less but this time as a do while loop uh, so this again the construct is do again i'll open a brace and close a brace okay while uh, some condition is being met okay so there's my construct as it is so do this while the uh, uh the, well and then while the condition is met so i'm just going to copy this code you know, just be a bit lazy here so I'll say me writing it again uh I'm typing it again um, okay I'll just paste that in uh, just tab that over okay okay so there's my do loop so therefore do this okay loop uh, okay and integrate while okay uh, so let's set our condition again while i is less than 20. okay again it doesn't matter if you put the space in there i'm just doing it for readability uh, so let's execute this piece of code uh, so again let's run it and you can see there we're getting exactly the same thing 0 to 19. Uh, again what i could do is let's say the let, let's look at the error we had the last time where i made i more than 20 again uh, i will i uh, set to zero up here uh, so i will never be more than 20 but in the do loop this code will execute at least once before it reads that i is uh, okay i is not more than 20 so it will stop dead in its tracks uh, okay, so let's run that piece of code and you can see there I get loop zero. So it actually wrote out the first loop Okay uh, uh, What I was which was zero came down here to the while part and saw hey, I'm not more than 20 Okay, I'll get out and the loop exits Okay, so again uh, the there is uh, that's the subtle difference between the while loop and the do while loop and again we'll be using loops a lot more as we go through the course uh, especially when we're going to the GUI side we can we'll keep loops in for our exercises and things like that okay thank you for your attention